What's going on guys? Just got home from the gym from doing back. Welcome to today's episode. And today I wanted to talk to you about a pretty, uh, I suppose, controversial topic in the fitness industry. And that topic is how much protein do we actually need? How much protein can we absorb? A lot of people go as far as being dumb enough to say how much can we eat in one sitting, which I think is the most ridiculous thing to try to think about. Like how much can you, how much can we absorb in one meal? Like that's the dumbest thing that I've ever heard because your body just doesn't eat and instantly absorb it immediately. Your body, when you're full, you're full for like hours, you know, when you like say you eat 200 grams of protein in one sitting, you're stuffed for like four or five hours. Why is that? Because the protein is digesting, your body's utilizing it. And now some of you will go as far to say, you know, uh, but what about all the studies that have been done that say you can only absorb, you know, 40 grams of protein per couple hours or whatever. Well, guess what guys? They weren't studying guys like you and me and Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman. They weren't studying Greg Doucette because he could handle a lot more than he's actually eating. They didn't study professional bodybuilders. They didn't study amateur bodybuilders. They studied the average Joe. They studied old ladies. They studied everybody except the ones busting their asses in the gym, eating clean sources of protein and eating lots of it and seeing what the results were. And I can tell you that in my experience in eating more protein, eating large meals of protein, I've seen great results from it. I've got clients that have seen great results from it. I know plenty of other people that have seen great results from high, super high protein plans. And you can refute that all you want, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're not going to do it, <laughs> I mean, you're going to keep looking like you and I'm going to keep looking like me and everybody else is going to keep looking like them. So, uh, it's your choice, your call. You can keep looking at that science and trying to argue it and say, I don't want to, I don't need to eat that much protein, but you know. If you want to make changes to your physique, if you want to make big changes to your physique, sometimes you got to make big changes to your diet. Sometimes you got to do big things that you're not used to and you're not comfortable doing. So that's uh, that's what I got to say on that topic. And you know, I challenge anybody that wants to refute it to try, try it, try eating 300 grams of protein in a day, try eating 400, 500 grams of protein in a day and tell me the results that you get. And if you can't eat that much in a day, then you just weren't built to, uh, you just weren't built for this lifestyle. So um, that's all I gotta say on that. All right guys, so I've got my post-workout meal here. We've got one cup of rice cooked here. And just to be a bitch to you guys, I'm going to put in however many ounces of steak that this is because I am a firm believer that you digest every little bit of fucking meat that you eat. So deal with it. There you go. Can you see that? You see the ounces there? Fucking better. All right. I don't even care. I'm not even gonna look at how many freaking ounces this is. That's how much that I don't care how many grams of protein I'm getting in this meal because I know it's all good. By the way guys, this is skirt steak and I have absolutely no idea how many ounces this is gonna be. I just know I'm gonna enjoy the shit out of it. He doesn't even care. What we got there? 19 ounces. You see that shit? 19 delicious ounces. I can't wait. Let's stir this thing up. 
Skirt steak has a little more fat on it than uh, most steaks, so if you're on a low-fat diet, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I'd stick to top sirloin or some kind of sirloin, petite sirloin steak. Those are my favorites, but sometimes I just like to mix it up. We're going to add a little bit of seasoning to this. We're going to throw in this hot sauce, which is locally made here. This is lemon drop hot sauce. Yeah, you're not going to be able to buy this wherever you are. And then we're going to throw on some tomatillo salsa. And then we're going to finish off this jar of chipotle mayo. There we go. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you take my advice. I hope you learned something from this. Um, yeah, because eat your protein. That's all I have to say. So remember, nobody cares. Train harder. I'll see you guys tomorrow.